Good morning, and welcome to Budapest. I'm gonna be here for the next few weeks. I left Istanbul a few days ago, and I'm exploring Budapest for a couple of weeks before I head off to somewhere else. I sound like I'm yelling because I'm right next to a highway, which has occasional bouts of a lot of noise and then complete silence. But this morning, what I'm gonna do is try to figure out the Budapest public transportation system, which in today's case is gonna require tram rides and a metro ride. So right now I'm waiting for the tram. Actually, I think it's a train. I'm waiting for that to show up, to bring me into town, closer to town, so I can get a tram that will eventually connect with the metro. Well, my two destinations today are going to be the main train station, which I will be using in two weeks' time to take a train to Vienna. And then I'm going to get on the metro and go over to Buda Castle. I don't plan on exploring Buda Castle today, but I'm going to save that for another day. But I want to make sure that I understand the transport system and how it works. If my research is correct, we're looking for tram number 24, or as we say here, the number 24 tram. Well, I found the trams. There are two number two trams here, but no 24. One just left. Let's see if there's a timetable somewhere. And as I'm looking at the timetable, the number 24 just pulled in. I'm going to be riding this all the way to the end of the line. If my research is right, it should drop me off at the Coletti Railway Station. From there, I'm going to explore the station for a little while, make sure I know the lay of the land so that when escape day comes, I'll know where to go. Everybody got off the train at the last stop there. So there was no sign that said this was actually the train station, but I joined them anyway. I got off the train and this is the end of the line. You can see that the tram does not really go any farther. So the train station must be nearby. I have a feeling we found it. I'm just trying to get in front of the building so I can see a name. But I'm thinking to myself, what other building would be this big if it wasn't the railway station? I just watched a woman running in wooden platform sandals. But naturally, the camera wasn't running. Well, 
When I arrived yesterday, I bought a two-week pass so I could use the public transport system without buying individual tickets. So that means that when I get on a train or tram or the metro or a bus, I can just walk on and walk off. Occasionally, someone will ask to see your validated ticket. But since I have a pass, there is no validation. There's an expiration date right on the ticket, so I don't have to validate. If you do come to Budapest, the kind of transport tickets you buy will depend on how long you're going to be here and how much you plan on using the system. I use it every day, several times every day, so I thought that the pass made more sense for me. We're on the move now. We're gonna find a metro station and figure out how to get to Buda Castle. We're not going there today. I do have a plan to make another video about that, but not today. This is the M2 Metro line. Budapest has four altogether. I think the M3 is closed, but I'm not sure about that. The M1 is the oldest. In fact, if you look it up, you'll find that the M1 is the oldest covered underground railway in continental Europe. And what that means, of course, is that the London Underground is older. I'm a little bit skittish about getting on the metro because of the unfortunate incident that happened in Istanbul when I ended up heading in the wrong direction. So I usually check twice or three times to make sure that I'm getting onto the metro in the right direction. Well, I've gotten off the metro, and as you can see, right across the Danube, the Hungarian House of Parliament. We're not going to the Buda Castle today, but it's directly down the street, which you can see there. And I'll be traveling there some other day. You'll see a video about Buda Castle and maybe about the House of Parliament in the coming weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. There's an astonishing lack of shade around here. What?